Okay, now that the, the notch is cut, we're gonna show, show a camera angle. Hopefully though, you can see exactly where this side gunning line is pointing right up towards that block where it's supposed to be. Let me get that in the proper place, see if we get the camera set up for you. Since this one is the bar is longer than the hinge, or as long as the hinge, I may just cut it straight from the back. It's very important in situations like this where you're making the back cut to have good communication with the person who's putting the pull on the line. You can't pull too early on that line. You can cause real problems, especially if you have a really high line set with a lot of leverage like that and you're pulling with a piece of equipment or a big truck. You could cause, If you pull, the pull is put on there before the hinge is set, it could cause the, the, the trunk to split bar, and barber chair killing me or could cause the, tree, the, the hinge just to, to, to blow up, to fail and I'll have no directional control on the fall. So he's got to wait for my, there I go, I give him the hand signal right there. hadn't really uh, thought, uh, I thought the fly was going to crack, but I hadn't thought, we didn't think it was going to crack long, hard enough to possibly break that stonework. You can see where it hit up the hill here, and then broke, and then the butt hit here, bounced, and kind of shimmy that way. I was a little concerned that this cobblestone might have gotten damaged. And we, in retrospect, we probably should have had a couple logs. We have the skid steer here and plenty of wood to work with. Some logs here just to protect the driveway. It's a free lesson because apparently there is no damage. See, this is where actually let's see this is where it hit so if it hit anything would be here looks like it hit that hit that uh, rope pretty damn hard but uh, it looks like the stone works good so uh, it worked out very nice I'm very pleased all right well here's the tip of the second log we I was aiming two feet over from the block between the maple and the ash Landed about a foot over from the from the uh, from the block here. I didn't expect it to actually come this far, so I was thinking the lot was about 90 feet. It turns out this is over 100 feet from the stump. So that's a very accurate fall, and it's good to be able to trust your falling skills like that. I was very fortunate to have learned hinge mechanics, how to make a proper notch and back cut to create that hinge. That hinge is going to hold that log to fall directly. Place. It's just like it's uh, pure physics, and when um, when it's done right, you can get this kind of accuracy. And it gives you a lot of confidence to fall in trees in tight areas. So thanks for watching. I uh, hope to catch another video sometime soon. And, uh, I appreciate it. Thank you.